Hey everyone, I'm Prism, and welcome back to Minecraft. So, in the last episode of this series, we did build the nether portal entrance to finally go to the nether. So, we built this pathway down to my mine here, and then we built this nice little pathway to my nether here. We got that built in the last episode. And then now this episode, we will be building the pumpkin and melon farm as well as a village breeder and a place for the villagers to call home when I'm trading with them. So those things are going to be over in the front of my house over here. The melon pumpkin farm will be out in the open for now. I already got materials for it. I'm going to build it out in the open until I find a spot to put it. So probably somewhere over here. And then the village breeder and villager place for the villagers is going to be built probably by this tree here overlooking the water. I got some materials ready already for it. Here's for the farm and this is for the building itself. But I'll start with the farm first and get that built and then we can move on to the villagers. So I think I'm going to put the farm about right here where this look like cave entrance is at. So we'll start here and build this and then we'll head to the villagers. gonna keep collecting as many melons while we worry about building our villager breeder and the uh, villager home the villager breeder itself I will because there's a village over in the spruce biome when I was getting spruce trees I'm gonna have it built underground here so probably about like right here I'm gonna have the water flow in here so that I can just pick them up with a boat carry them right and drop them right right into the breeder so it'll be easier for me to transport two of the villagers so I can start the breeder. So this will go in here, probably nine blocks or so, if I will, before the water can actually go. But it'll go in here, and then it'll drop off into the breeder itself. So let's get into that building, and then we'll go, first we'll dig this out and build the actual breeder, and then we'll go grab the villagers and transport them to where we want to go. So yeah. is built we got this little villager farms built finally and we got the rail here this rail will help us lead the villagers into the houses so it's time to actually grab the villagers hopefully we can grab two of them quick for zombie spawn but my plan is just to take them feed them through here drop them in the hole and have the villagers down there I do have two boats to use already for these villagers, but it's over in this spruce biome over here. When I was getting spruce trees, I saw it, so that's going to be good. It's not that far away. It's pretty close. Just cross the ocean we go and drop in the villagers. All right, time to grab our first villager, and I'm going to grab this one. Okay, I'm going to... There's a lot of baby. I saw a couple of them already. Um, let's grab the spruce wood, and let's just grab that tater. 
trees can go out there as well. Okay, villager, I need you. I need you to come outside. Let's see if we can find one outside already. See, another baby. Okay. Is there any adults outside? There's one right there. That's a farmer too. Let's... Hey, come back. Yeah, jump in. Yes, sir. Okay, now that we have this, I plan on just pushing him out out this way let's let's take that pumpkin actually we'll come back and raid this village when the time comes let's go this way okay i know there's the water over here i can see it i think if i get him far enough away from the village as well it will take his ability away and his job and he'll be able to hit the harvesters at the farm itself Yep, there's the water. Okay. <laughs> the easiest way to capture fucking villagers. Alright. Let's go. Okay, so now I just have to take this waterway. I don't think it connects that way. Nope. Okay, so I just take this waterway around. And back to the house. And back to that entrance. And then I'll do it again and grab the next villager. We are home, villager. You lost your job, and you're about to get a new one. Alright, let's see how well this, this works. So, there's the entrance. We come through here. I should be able to just pop through here and drop. Just like that. And I should just be able to break it just like that. He's a job now. Okay, so the thing is... I don't want mobs to come in there, so let me get out of here real quick. Let's get back up here to the surface. I need to build a better access to it. Okay, so in case it turns dark when I'm gone, I want to keep mobs from coming in here. So let's do that so zombies can't come in. Alright, now I can head back and grab that other villager. I'm coming for you, villager. I don't want a baby. I want a actual normal size villager. Is there one in this house? It's getting night, so I will have to head to bed. Ooh, emeralds. Alright. And I don't know why there's a fern here. I'll place you down. <laughs> okay, that's a campfire. Oh, an azulea tree, or a zilea tree. Okay, so there's going to be moss moss down there. Off the, that's good. That's good that we have that right there. Okay, is there any... Here are baby villagers, but... Where are the normal sized villagers at? Okay. There's gotta be some around here. I, w I don't. I'll take that actually. Oh, there goes a the fox. Holy cow. Oh, there's a baby fox over there. Wow. Okay. Well, it's about to get dark. So let me steal one of these beds real quick. Where are the villagers? How have I not seen one? Nope. Oh. oh Why are there three of you? You guys better get inside. It's it's getting dark. Can't sleep. Oh, there's one. Get in there. I'm not going to bed. I'm just getting out of here. I probably should hit the bed, just so the mobs don't attack my villager, but he's right here. I just gotta go. <laughs> just, <laughs> I just gotta go. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. Come on, come on, come on. I see it. I see the water. Okay. Alright, we will be fine once we get in the water. We'll be fine. Okay, let's go back home. Ah. Uh -huh.
That's gonna stop a minute. I just need a little bit more clay to finish around. I think I'll be the rest of the clay I need. And this tree was getting in the way, so I took the advantage to chop it down. It was a nice tree, but I will probably be building a custom tree right here, probably soon. I don't know exactly how soon, but I will build one there to make it look nice. But we do got the farm going here, and the villagers down here trading away, having fun. I don't think I have a child yet. Nope. I need more carrots. That's why I need to dump more in there. But I have it ready. It's it's all prepared. So let's go get that clay. This is the last of the clay I need, and I got a, probably about two stacks maybe, and then we can finish on to the walls of that villager house.
Alright guys, that thing is built, looking very, very beautiful from this distance. I can't wait to actually finish, put maybe a custom tree on that side and actually get my other things built around this building. But that that's the main villager house there and soon we'll have the farmers all on the bottom, stonemasons and the librarians. The other villagers I don't really use so I'm not going to put them in there. And yeah, that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what do you want me to build next and I'll see you in the next one.